Well, hello there and a very warm welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. Today is a very fitting video because we've booked a holiday. Hurrah! We're going to Santorini in two days. So I thought, how appropriate would it be to do an airport outfit or travel outfit video? Um, I've not actually done one of these before either, so I thought it would be quite good. And the looks that I'm choosing are gonna be quite climate neutral. So nothing like for a really hot country or for a really cold country, but I often find when you get into the airport, it's the same temperature every time of the year. So hopefully these outfits you can kind of adapt a little bit to wherever you're traveling from and you can just kind of swing them a bit with your accessories or your jackets, etc. So I'm gonna talk through my outfits as usual and show you the bits and pieces that I would style for the airport and why it would work. So let us get on with the video. Okay, so this is gonna be my first look and I think a really easy way, I say this all the time actually, um, to look fashionable but also really comfy uh, is by tonal dressing. So I've gone for kind of head to toe, like this greeny khaki shade with these me and M khaki cargo trousers. These are so comfortable and absolutely timeless. They are a bit of a higher price point but this is the kind of trousers that never ever go out of fashion. Um, and yeah, really comfortable and I love the khaki shade too. It's kind of an all year round color, perfect for going into autumn. And then this padded green monkey top. I think if you're gonna wear some cozy, comfy clothes, something like a padded shoulder t-shirt just adds a little bit of interest, a little bit of extra detail to your outfit rather than just wearing a plain t-shirt. So just think about those little small touches that you can make to your outfit or tweak. They will kind of elevate your look. And then I've got my Gucci loafers on it. So this is how I kind of start with the base outfit. Then I'd start adding some layers on. So I think what I would do or I would take is like um, a sweater in a similar, I'm kind of similar type of tones. So this I'd probably just pop around my shoulders if I didn't want to wear it, just for an extra layer of warmth, or you can keep it in your bag. Often planes get cold, so it's nice to have a little extra layer. And then this also serves, if you're going somewhere warm and you're only taking like one piece of knitwear, maybe this will serve as that throughout the holiday. So you can just pop it on your shoulders like that. I would also, I just bought this new hat. So this is from Zara. I would take this um, and just wear it on my head like that. And then I'd probably go for could probably go for my leather jacket here. Leather jacket's a really nice one to travel in, I think, because you can use it throughout your holiday, but it also looks really nice. It's like a nice weight, it's not too heavy, and you've just got a really chic, comfy airport outfit. I usually take my basket bag when I'm traveling, well, if I'm going to a hot country anyway, and then you can just pop your knitwear inside your bag if, you know, a slightly chunkier bag is always useful. So yeah, this is look number one, and not forgetting the crucial element. Ta-da, your suitcase. Um, so this is just my antler one that I'll probably be taking with me, but this is the look in its entirety, look at number one. Okay, so my next outfit is another tonal look, which I didn't really realize at the time. But this, I'm gonna kind of talk about layering and how to layer. So, I've got these paper bag style jeans on from Zara. I think they do a similar pair um, in the gray and they definitely do them in blue because I've got a pair. So these were last year, but I love these paper bag style because one, they are so comfortable and two, they're kind of smarter than joggers but still have that same effect. These are really, really soft. Um, so yeah, I think I would even go to say the comfier than some joggers. Yeah, these are really nice, soft, stretchy to have on a plane and to sit there for quite a while in. And if you're not a joggers person, well, I, I am sometimes, but I don't always want to wear them. Um, if you're not a joggers person, then these are ideal. And then I've got my Stan Smiths on and then this tank top by Everlane, my Saint Laurent Sunnies on my head. This tank top's a really nice one, nice and loose and airy. So if you get a bit warm, then this is a nice one to have underneath because it's no sleeves, your arms are free. And if you are going to hot country, you can take whatever you've got off 
and when you land it's nice and cool. So I'm going to pop on my hoodie with it because I think layering is the key to airport style because it does get weird where sometimes it's really hot and sometimes it's really cold so you can never quite predict what the airport will behold in terms of temperature. In terms of jackets, I'm actually going to go with a blazer instead of, I could have guessed gone for the leather jacket, but I feel like I would feel a little bit casual in that and I like to sometimes dress hoodies up with a nice blazer. So this one is from 12 Stories. I have just done a blazers video as well if you want to see some more outfits on light colour blazers and um, you can go over there. But this is just a nice lightweight one and I love this kind of cream and beige um, combo as well. So I just roll the sleeves up like that and then I could use this bigger bag. This is a bit tonal as well with the creams and blues. This is from Coolia. Again, I always forget how to pronounce it um, but I will be linking it and yeah, it's just this gorgeous chunky bag and it's got blues in it. It's like bluey hues, but that looks nice with the gray because it's nice and light and it's quite big as well. So it fits a lot in. So yeah, this is airport look number two. So for my third look, I decided to keep the tank top on, but I switched the bottoms to these leather style joggers. Again, if you're not much of a joggers person, but want that comfy, feel then some leather ones are a really good option because I think they look really chic and they're nice to dress up whilst you're away um maybe in the evening with like a heel on depending on where you are and what the climate is but again if you're going on like a city break as well and um, these are really nice um, for out and about in the daytime or in the evening so definitely a real good travel essential depending on your climate of course um, but they're so comfortable these ones are from Naked Fashion I believe these are still in stock but I'll if they're kind of running out of sizes I'll link another pair too and then I've got my tan basket bag with it with the mango sandals and I can just chuck this over my shoulder like that I could perhaps then pop on my denim oversized jacket like that so it just kind of lifts it up a little bit and then I've got the um, tan at the bottom and the tan in the basket bag just brings it into that summery feel and then and so does the denim jacket and then the leather trousers are just a really versatile piece to have with you and really comfy too. So I wanted to show another look with these leather trousers. This time I've popped the trainers, the Stan Smiths back on with it. And then another padded shoulder t-shirt. I am a bit in love with these at the moment. Um, this one is from Mango. I definitely size up. I got a medium, but to be honest, I kind of almost wish I'd got a large because I really like that oversized feel in these t-shirts. But nice padded shoulders. Again, just adds a bit of extra interest to the outfit if you take the t-shirt off and it's nice with some gold jewellery layered up a little bit um, and I've just took that in. This is just such a comfy, easy look and kind of something that would suit so many destinations. And then just to smarten it up a bit, depends what kind of person you are I suppose. I like going relatively smart, I'm not a super casual person anyway. So I like going relatively smart to the airport. So I'm just going to put this blazer over the top and again a light colour blazer like this is such a useful one to have and something that doesn't always travel well in a suitcase so it's quite nice to wear it and then again I would just put that on with the basket bag um, I really do think you can wear the basket bag with everything I quite like the juxtaposition of the leather with the straw I think mixing fabrics and textures like that is a little bit unexpected and a bit more interesting um, so I'd definitely wear these together but the white picks up the white in the shoes and then the stripe gives it a little bit of extra interest so if you are going a little bit more long haul and you want something really, really soft and cosy, a jogger set is definitely the way to go. I think with this being like a bit of knitted, it's a, a different kind of colour than usual. It's not just a plain black or beige. It just gives it a little bit of extra interest um, and something that's, I don't know, that 
everybody isn't wearing. So this is from Zara, it's like got a cute hood as well so you can really snuggle into it. These are so, so comfortable, they're like a sagey green colour which I love. And then you could kind of go either way with this, so also you could put a few layers on underneath and over the top. So I would probably go for a blazer because I'd want to make it a little bit smarter and again if you want a blazer for when you arrive. So this one is my end of the stories black blazer and I pop the sleeves up like that and got my sunglasses and again probably just put my basket bag with it or another oversized chunky bag and this is definitely an outfit I could see myself wearing um, because the blazer really smartens it up but it's still nice and casual easy to wear I've got my Nike Techno trainers on and these again are so comfortable any kind of trainers would go well with this but I, I really like this look and this is probably how I would style the jogger suit for the airport however I think another good option would be to style it with the leather bike jacket if that's more your style and I would probably just pop this over my shoulders like that and this is just a really comfy easy airport look as well. So my final look, I am just want to keep it really simple with an all black outfit. These trousers are I think probably one of my favourites for travelling. I think they're such a good and useful pair to have and I don't think you would regret purchasing them. They're from Zara. Cargo trousers, I'll come closer so you can see them. So they're like a cargo style, they've got little pockets in, not that you're really gonna use those for anything, maybe a passport. And they're just so, so comfortable and a little bit cropped, so they're nice with like trainers, or loafers, sandals, and so comfortable for the airport. They're just perfect pair of airport trousers or traveling trousers. Um, so yeah, 25 99 from Zara. I got these in an extra small and they're perfect. So kind of true to size. Um, and then I'm wearing them with the loafers, but like I say, you could wear them with anything. And then this black poplin shirt from Arquette. Um, and then you could pop any jacket over the top. The denim one would probably work. The leather one would work. You could put a jumper over your shoulders again and the basket bag but just any kind of jacket would work with an all black outfit and I think this one would be a good one if you're traveling somewhere a little bit cooler and um, you could swap the shirt for a bit more of a chunky knit and the loafers for chunky boots and these trousers are going to work really nicely for that and going into autumn so definitely think you could get your wear out of these I can't advocate these trousers enough so thanks so much for watching i hope you've got some inspiration from my airport looks let me know if you're going on travels anywhere or if you're just going to use these outfits for day-to-day -day casual looks i think these would work perfectly just for everyday comfy clothes so don't forget to subscribe did i just say that i think i might have done um, but just as a reminder, um, and give it a thumbs up if you like the video, leave me a comment too, I always read the comments, even if I can't reply to every single one, I try and get around to them, and I do read them as well, so um, I really, really appreciate a comment. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next one. My next one hopefully should be on Sunday, today should be Wednesday, if this is going up on time, and then the next one should be Sunday, and then we might, uh, well we probably will have a week of no content up um, on YouTube because we'll be away. And I'll see you very shortly. Bye.